Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. I'm going to show you in this episode how to take your zoo photography and turn them into fine art. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I am a French photographer from the beautiful city of Paris, France, but right now living in Los Angeles, California. All right, in this episode, I wanted to share a story I did with you. A few weeks ago, I was in Thoiry. Thoiry is a very famous safari zoo close to Paris, and I took hundreds of photos. Inspired by a few people I work with in a gallery that I'm in Paris, I decided to turn some of these photos into fine art. But the challenge was to do it in Lightroom and Lightroom only. So I'm going to give you the raw files. I'm going to give you the Lightroom presets. I'm going to give you the Lightroom presets to do this. All you have to do is be a member of the photo search community. I'm going to explain you everything in this video. So come with me and let's see if we can take our zoo photography to the next level. All right, mesdames and messieurs. So before we get into the fine art of zoo photography, uh, a couple of housekeeping things. If you go to my website, photosearch.com, and you click on courses, uh, there is a new uh, uh, presentation which is that a lot of people is being asking me like okay you got lots of courses by what do I start with well I did like a, a curriculum a sequence of training starting off with Lightroom CC Photoshop for photographer Cityscape masterclass the idea is like if you want to be professional as a photographer I think you should master completely Lightroom first then Photoshop and then I give you more special course you got the, the Cityscape Masterclass, the Landscape Masterclass, the HDR Masterclass, Sky Replacement which is very specific workflow, the whole war, Art of Black and White Complete Pack and then we get into more sp other specialties like portraits uh, you know which uh, this is my best quote on portraits I'm not specialist on portraits I'm, I'm really proud of it you should check it out portrait composite workflow interior design long exposure workflow time lapse Photoshop 101 which is a bit more advanced than Photoshop masking and extraction masterclass and finally once you master all these tools the photographic business masterclass so you can start making money with it uh, you can buy this individually or get them at 80% discount with buying the complete pack and if you already bought stuff from me you log into my website this will give you an upgrade price and uh, and this way you will get um, a cheaper even cheaper version of the complete pack it's going to adapt based on what you bought all right so let's jump over to Lightroom and let's see how we got how I got this photo now that is the before shot okay and that's the after shot a lot more fine art type of looking so basically I was in Paris I went to this famous uh, zoo called Thoiry. and I had this one lens which is a 24 to 40 so I can really uh, you know sort of like a go-to lens so I could jump in if I need it and zoom into an animal and I just started you know taking random photos of the different animals it's a beautiful park it's like you know this sort of safari where you can drive around with a car and take photos of animals and I had seen so many people doing fine art photography with animals and say oh I'm gonna give it a try in Lightroom and I came up with a series of presets which I think are pretty cool. Well, look at that. They don't look nice, do they? And um, especially on the on the lions and the lioness. I don't know how you call that. The lion and lion, as we say in French. So this, basically what I did is I waited for them to feed the lions. And so, so they would come closer and they had a glass. There is a little glass. You can see a bit of the glare. So that's the lioness coming to uh, eat. She was getting, you know, close to me. And uh, I just was like shooting, shooting all the time. And now comes the lion. The lion, he was like, wow. You know that you can hear a lion scream from like a couple of miles away. It's so powerful. Anyways, he was like, I'm the king of the jungle and I'm waking up. Uh, that's one example of photos that I did like a sort of a black and white with it. And that was one of my first try. Uh, it's not sharp yet. Yeah, there it is. Anyway, so as the line was coming, I was just shooting, 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 shooting through the glass. He was coming very close to me. And, uh, you know, you just take the best photos you can. So the ones we're going to be working on today are a few. The first one we're going to be doing is this one. Uh, that's the first one. Okay, and I'm going to try to make a fine art photography with it. Now, now, what does fine art photography mean? Well, it's basically usually work you find in galleries or, you know, that are exceptional photographies that have a special look, you know. And um, I worked uh, with a lot of galleries and uh, I know what the kind of things they like. And, uh, you know, one of the key thing is you have to, uh, photography means painting with the light. So one of the key points of fine art photography is that one is beautiful light, but also... 
um, a very simple message. The problem that we have in photography is that there is too much things going on. You know, we can see here, this is uh, the window uh, edge that you can see here. We can see the background that's kind of blurry, but you know, whatever. Uh, you know, it's not very nice. So what I usually do to make this fine art is I, I work with presets and I'm going to offer you all the presets. I'm going I'm to work with Lightroom presets and I'm going to work with brush presets. I'm going to show you how I do them. So first, let's create our first preset, which we're going to call like base zoo. So my usual workflow is as usual. I put up the shadows, bring down the highlights and I do my black and I do my white, something average. Now, the problem is that then the colors get very poppy. I don't want this, so I'm going to lower the saturation a lot. Okay, then I might lower a bit the exposure and I'm going to add a lot of contrast and a lot of clarity. We want something that really sticks out. So that's already starting to be something, but I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to take a graded filter and I'm going to make a big filter here. I'm going to go on to uh, exposure and I'm going to lower the exposure here. And in the same time, I'm going to denoise it. So because sometimes in dark places you got noise, so I'm going to denoise it. I'm going to unsharp it and uh, just like that. And then I'm going to, with the same value, I'm going to go make another graded filter here, another graded filter here. I'm trying to do like a heavy, heavy vignetting. All right. Okay. So that's already getting something. And that's our base, that's our base thing. Uh, base preset. Now I'm going to do, now this one is a little bit blurry, but I'm going to do some heavy sharpening. I'm going to do like a hundred of sharpening. I'm going to put my masking around 60 because I only want to sharpen when there is details. And I'm going to do a bit of noise reduction, like 17. Okay. And then I'm also going to do remove chromatic aberration and unbuy profile correction. So that's my base preset, okay? Now you don't have to remember all this because the good thing, I'm gonna give you the preset. So first, how do you create a pre preset? Well, you go into your presets and I'm gonna click here on plus and I'm gonna, I created a folder called zoo. Uh, you can uh, click here to create a new folder if you are starting from scratch. Uh, I created a folder called zoo and this one I'm gonna call it zoo base, uh, base two, because I already created base one, which is basically very similar, but they are always a bit different. So now if I reset and I start off with this photo, I can click here on base one or base two. That's the one we just created, which is going to be slightly different. I created some other one. I created zoo BW for black and white, zoo Hollywood for a little Hollywood wigs, zoo matrix for a little matrix look and zoo sepia for a little sepia look. On this one, I'm going to use Zoo Base 2. And at the end of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you install the presets. Okay, that's that's just your starting point. We need to do a few things with this. First, first thing I would advise you to do once you have your base done on your animal photo is you do a cropping. I'm going to, uh, the lioness is looking this way, so I'm going to make give her more space here. But I really want to go on, on her face. Look at her face. It's beautiful. Okay, then I'm going to take a little brush. Yes, I take a little brush. I'm going to go to exposure and I'm going to minus the exposure uh, and I'm going to lower the clarity and boost the noise. That's the three things I'm going to do. Then I'm going to put my flow and then CT around 70 and 80. But the good news, you don't have to remember all this because I'm going to give you for free Lightroom brush preset and show you how to install them at the end. So you can just go to Zoo Darken Brush. Once you've selected the Zoo Darken Brush, you make a big brush and you brush around the animal because, you know, photography means writing with light. I'm writing with light. I'm burning all around the animal so as to focus the attention of the viewer on the animal itself. If you think it's too much, you have the freedom mesdames and messieurs, to lower the exposure. I, I want it really on her face. Once you've done this, you click on new, and then you take the other brush, the Zoo Brighton brush. Okay, also for free, you can, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you with this three row files, all the presets, all the brushes for free. Yes, for free. I know I'm selling a lot of stuff, but I also have over 400 free tutorials with hundreds of free presets that I give for free. You know, you have to give back to the community. And that's what I want to do. And I'm really happy with this presets here. I'm really happy. I'm so happy with this zoo photography. I think a lot of people will enjoy them. And voila. So I, I brighten the eyes a little bit here. You know, you just want to add a little bit of touch of light here and there. 
So if you press the backslash key on your keyboard, you can see the before, which is going to take a while sometimes because we did a lot of things. Oh, now we don't see the before. You know what? Because I've already retouched it before. So, uh, you know, I already prepared this before. So if we want to re see the before, uh, I can go here. You know, one of the easiest things to do um, is just to create a, a virtual copy. And I like to do that sometimes because I like to give different version and, and reset it. So that's the original photo. This is the first try that I did. And that's another try that I did uh, just before. You know, it's a different cropping, different feeling, but you get a bit the idea. I love this photo. Uh, I think it's really cool. Yeah, look at this. What a beautiful animal. What a beautiful animal. It is amazing. All right, so uh, let's do another one. Let's do this one, the Lion King. That's the final result. That's the before photo. All right, so let's go over to my zoo presets. So here is zoo base one. Not bad. Let's check out zoo base two. Uh, pretty similar. Let's check out zoo BW, pure black and white. Zoo Hollywood. Oh, I like Zoo Hollywood. I'm going to take Zoo Hollywood on this one. Okay, first thing is I'm going to crop it completely. I really want to get on the lion here. And that's the good thing when you have a 46 million pixel camera because you can crop a lot and still get a decent resolution. I'm still at look like I'm still at 4000 3100. I can still make a huge print out of this. Okay, so that's my base. Now when you use when you do a lot of cropping like this, you have to go back in a graded filter and you have to adjust them because they are far away. Uh, so I'm going to take this one, I'm going to boost this one up, this one, I'm going to even make it stronger. This one, I can, there is, this one, I can, sometimes you won't even be able to access some, so you can just redo it, because you've got the values that are set up here. You know, you can just do, redo them a little bit. Another another technique that you can do, which is, uh, which is pretty cool, I haven't tried it actually, let's try this, is you take a radial filter, you make a radial filter and you make sh and you go to the zoo darken brush okay and that's going to make everything dark around the filter you see everything is dark around the filter that's a good way to do it too okay that's a good way of doing it it goes fast so now we got our base now we need to bring back some light because we went really strong on this so i'm going to take the brush i'm going to go to my zoo brighten brush yes because we in uh, the face is already pretty bright, but I might brighten it here a little bit. Here it needs to be brightened a lot. Okay, we need to bring back some of that fur. Look at that fur. Monsieur has an amazing fur. I want to show the world my fur. Look at this. I love animals. I love so much animals. Okay, it's a little strong here on the eyes. You know how you can move the brush strokes. I'm just going to redo it. Uh, w the face is already very bright because I guess the sun was casting. So I'm not going to do it on the face. You can just, you know. I'm going to do it where it's really dark. I want to bring back some life here. And the good thing about this brushes is you don't have to you don't have to follow the strength, you know, you can lower the exposure if you think it's too much. Okay? And uh maybe here a little bit, maybe here. You can click on new and just do one on the eyes here and for just for this one you can lower its power, but you want to add some you want to add something on, on, on the eyes here. Ah, no. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. You don't want to burn things too much. I mean, dodge things too much. Here, maybe on the on the fur here. I want to go a little more. I want to really put some... And the good thing is that if you do it, not globally, but a bit here and there, it's going to look more dramatic than if you, you know, just one big strike everywhere to do small touches. It's going to look awesome. Okay, my eyes still goes too much here and too much there. So click a new brush and go to the Zoo Darken brush. The Zoo Darken brush is going to make things even darker. Yes, that's right. So, bam, 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 a little bit here. And uh, it's going to, your computer might start to lag a little bit here, maybe a little, it's kind of weird hello here. But something like this and here, that bothers me. And voila, and that's, uh, that's my second one. Uh, I think I want to boost the overall white on this one. Let Hold on the Add key, let's see how far we can go. Yeah. I want to boost a little bit the white. Maybe not that much. Yeah, something like this. So that's one other version. So on this one, let me show you using the same presets. I did this one, so much brighter where we can see a lot more. Um, voila, that's one version. 
That's another version. That's one I just did. That's another version that I did using the uh, the zoo base as number one. So you can just play around with that. You know, it's going to give you a different feeling. Let's do another one. One more. This one. So let's let's see. That's the lion. She was coming next to me. She was going to jump on me. So uh, zoo base one. Let's see what zoo base one is going to give me. Oh, like this. I love it. Let's see what zoo sepia is going to give me. Uh, not too much. Let's see zoo Hollywood. Uh, zoo the Matrix. No, I think I'm going to take Zoo Base 2, the one I created live in front of you guys. Yeah, this one, no. No, no, no. Zoo Base 1 may be a little brighter. I think this one, Zoo Base 1, was kind of nicer. Yeah, Zoo Base 1 is good. Okay, then I'm going to crop it. I really want to be on her. Okay. Something like that. I still have a lot of pixels to go to. And same thing here. So, uh,. On this one, I can just take the graded filter here and adjust them. This one is good. This one might need a bit of adjustment. This one is good. And this one is good, I think. Okay, and then you just close this. You jump into brush. You know, you take the Zoo Darken brush. It goes so much faster using brush presets. I know that I told you that I'll show you how to install them. Uh, and I will. I will. And voila. Voila, voila, voila. Uh, okay. So, that's the basic idea. Let me show you the before photo. So, let's create a virtual copy again. And because I use preset, I know my sharpening is done. I know my nose reduction is done. I know my lens correction is done. It's all done. It takes just, literally, I spend about one minute per photo to get this. So, that's the after photo. That's the before photo. Okay, that's the before photo, that's the after photo, and uh, again, let me reset this one, that's the before photo, and that's one of the after. Okay, it's still blurry, you know, when you click on a photo, it takes, it takes a moment for Lightroom to process it, here it is, that's another version of it. And so, I just, you know, I find it's a really artistic way to express myself, you know, uh, here's another example that I did. I did this one uh, of really is a close-up on the on the lion. It's blurry now. It's a bit sharper. And another one that I did using the same presets, and uh, that I really liked is this one. Okay, so how do you install presets? Well, very simple. Uh, I'm going to give you raw files. I'm going to give you presets. Uh, so presets for Lightroom and presets for the brush. But to get all that, you have a link below the video. When you click on this link, it's going to take you to my website. On my website, you click here to sign up. You have to sign up first. Okay, you sign up first. You're putting your email address. You're going to get an email of confirmation. You look at your email in your confirmation. You click on the confirmation. Then you log in. You, you have to log in to the website. Once this is done, once you're logged in and you're a member, you're going to get my daily newsletter. Every day, I'm going to send you a newsletter with promotions, with free tutorials, with free presets. That's what I do. I do one newsletter per day. Okay, you get that, but you're gonna get so many free stuff if you do, if you bear with me and get my news from me every day. Uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna go back to Lightroom, and now the link under the video is gonna take you to a special place where you can download all the presets. All right. So the presets and the raw files. To install the presets, you just go to Lightroom Preference. You go to the second tab called Presets, and you click here show Lightroom preset folder, all right? Once you're in the Lightroom preset folder, you've got many preset folders. So the develop presets folder, uh, which is which uh, will be unzipped, you have to unzip all the raw files. You, you're gonna get one raw file where you get one folder for the raw files, one folder for the develop preset, and one folder for the um, local adjustment preset. So the develop preset is zoo base one you see it's zoo base you can just drag and drop the folder there so you got all my lightroom preset there okay and for the brushes you go into the local adjustment brushes and you just drag and drop the zoo uh brighten brush and the zoo darken brush and you're good to go you restart lightroom it's you have to restart a doom to take into consideration and you're ready to do some amazing now you can apply this to anything you can apply this to to portraits or anything you know it's just playing with the light you know and trying to make this portrait a bit different and bring some drama in your life so i hope you go out there you take your camera you know try to get a long lens go to the zoo take photos and try this technique i think you'll love it mesdames et messieurs i will see you in another episode